G'day everyone, I'm Saltwater Steve and today we're at Aqua in Hillary's. Look at the size of these stripies. Imagine having an aquarium like this guys. It's actually an outdoor pond with a viewing panel downstairs. From this aquarium guys, we'll take you through and see all the sharks and the, the ginormous snapper they've got on the conveyor belt. Then we'll go check out all the other aquariums, the saltwater crocodiles, there's so much to see guys. So make sure you stick around, give it a like, make sure you subscribe and come on the journey of Aqua. That's an aquarium of Western Australia. I think that's a marwong or something. I can't help but call them sweet lips because of the lips, but I think they call it a red lip marwong. How cool is the little western blue broper getting cleaned? Or well, maybe it's a blue devil. Actually, I think it is a blue devil. Well, that's so cool. Western Blue Devil, I'm sure. Big rays. Big rays. Oh, there's a diver down there. They're having a feed. Oh, there you go, mate. <laughs> Hello. You were saying like and subscribe to Saltwater Steve. Who knows? It's so cool, isn't it? He knows. The big boy. Look at his huge tail. Wow. All these fish. The size of them. Here's a close up of a West Australian Dewey. So that's Hui, but the distinctive stripe. And these might be a Mulloway, which are the eastern G fish. The big ray. And thinking you better like and subscribe. Breakfast. Check that out, salty fam. How cool. Having brekkie. Oh, he smell it. Not hungry this morning. Look 
Miguel. Oh. 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 Absolutely. This is a loggerhead turtle, everybody. He's just chilling out under there. And I think the little guy is a smooth ray, or maybe a snub nose ray. I'll find out for sure and I'll put a picture up for you. But how cute are they? Pretty sure this is a bald chin groper. Or a blue bone. Now I've got myself second guessing if they're the same fish or something different. I'll chuck a picture up on that too. Check out the head on this pink snapper. <laughs> he looks like a man, for sure. They all do. It's classy. Searching tide pools, I'm pretty sure we caught a small one of these. It's a Rankin cod. Let's see if we can get a better angle. So there he is, the Rankin cod. Oh, it's not focusing. How you going, little mate? It's a West Australian Jewfish. You can tell a Jewfish by the stripe that runs through the eye, but... Oh, and a nice shark in the background. So see the stripe on his eye. Here we go, Salty Fam. Check out the leafy sea dragon. I don't know, he might get a better view with the filter off. There we go. So that's a leafy sea dragon, everyone. How cool. Got some pretty daisy coral here, salty fam. Some pineapples. Pineapple fish. A stripey, just like we've got at home. How cool is that? We got a lot of this out here. We got an Oki here, salty fam. Check him out. Octavia. Octavia. Bunch of crayfish in here, we got Kramers everywhere. Does it look better without it? Sure does. How you going, big guy? You would be tasty. So these are the gobble gut salty fam. Definitely them. Gobble guts, we found it. We got the stripies and Sadie, the cleaning lady rats. Oh, there's our go fish. That's how big ours will get. You probably can't tell how big it is, but it is ginormous. Look at the size of these zoos, May cans. Very impressive. Check out this guy. Xavier's about to give him an arm wrestle. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Beast. Hello. Yeah, you're very handsome, aren't you, mate? You're a real looker. Another goat fish in this one, Salty Fam, and some football sweet. They're quite cool, maybe we could get a couple of them for ours. These potentially we have chance of catching when we go searching for aquarium fish at the marina. These are potentially ones we can get. Oh, and up there are Shaw's box fish. I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong. But definitely a kind of box fish. What our saltwater pond's gonna look like one day, Salty Fan. How cool.
Maybe we'll have a little bit less coral and a bit more fish. Maybe we'll have both. We can only dream, can't we, Salty Fan? Acromus. Oh, look at that Minardi Rass down there. I don't know if you can see him. There's a few nice Rass. So many, look at the size of this clam. I have not seen one so big ever. In the prettiest sow garden. All the way up. Schools of Anthias. It's just lovely. Big fox face. Is that a bubblegum chalice? Just wow. We got a big Mr. Scribble. A blue spotted ray. Holy moly. Look at these sail fin tangs. They are massive. They're like the size of a basketball guys. Huge, big chorus wrasse. That's what our wrasse at home turns into. That's the chorus wrasse, the one that looks like a Nemo. They get that big and we'll be able to put him outside. Here's a specimen. See if he looks better from up here. Another, another pond like what we're gonna have. Hey, Salty Fam. Imagine Elon Tusk and Spike swimming around in here, spitting water, just like archer fish. Oh, so cool. Big Emperor Angel, what a beast. He's about the size of the one in Nick Bingo's aquarium. Oh, his 4,000 gallon salt water pond. What a dude. This is just my favourite part. Oh, look at the size of this cowfish. He is huge. Everything in here is just monstrous. It's so cool. The chorus verse. And Mr. Scribble. Like right, five times the size of ours. So awesome. So what a croc! Take him home. He can go in with the barramundi. No worries. No, he'll be snacking on the barramundi. Go, oh, whoa, oh, he had to bite him. <laughs> Ready, guys? Shall I? Do you dare me to? Oh, he's your friend. Are you just cleaning his teeth. This tank is just wow. Yep. Check out this little guy. He was rescued last year. This is the turtle rescue facility part. He's just chilling in the corner. Ooh, we gotta keep him in the water, Princess. Another King Rass. Shark. Hey, yo, mate. Oh, he thinks he's an archer fish too, just like Spike and Elon. Sure, absolutely, you can touch a shark. This is the touch pool, Salty Fam. It's pretty cool. The kids love this part of it. These are Port Jackson sharks. Do they feel like sandpaper? Yes. Very rough, aren't they? 
Oh, here we go, man. Here you go, mate. Be quite large, we mind. And some um, brie. Oh, and you can see down there with the blue spots, that's a baby pink snapper. I'm not sure if the blue spots apply here. Yeah, you can yeah, see the blue dots on that one. That's a juvenile pink snapper. And the one next to him is a silver brim. And these are Port Jacksons. This is a bit of the backstage, guys. All the way in there, there's jellies. We'll go back and have a look at the jellies, but coral propagation systems. Super cool, a little bit behind the scenes. Maybe one day we'll be invited to go backstage and check out all the behind the scenes stuff. How cool will that be? Oh, puffer fish, porcupine puffer, and another box fish. And there's some nice big corals. And a pretty little Zara. This, guys, is the blue ring octopus. The most deadliest sea creature there is. So one of these can kill you within 20 minutes. It can kill up to 26 adults, actually. And once it bites you, the bite is numb, so you don't feel anything until your heart just stops. You go to sleep and you don't wake up. And he's so small. Oh, so small, like. Yeah, smaller than the palm of my hand. But here we go. I'd read it out, but I'm a terrible reader. Oh, there we go. Each blue ring octopus carries enough venom to kill about 26 adult humans. In this aquarium, once Avi moves his head, is the peacock mantis. Here we go. You can't see him, he's all the way in there. But this is what it is. Yeah. Oh, that was a wake-up scare. Oh, there goes his arm. That was super fun. Don't fish here. And there's another one there. Can anyone spot him? There he is. That's him. He looks just like a rock or a stone. You got him? There's another one in there too. But I don't think the light will pick him up. A little scorpion fish in here. The one at the back there is super orange and cool. wonder if he'll come into view very good. He's moving around. If we're patient, he might come around. This out, Salty Fam, it's the flamboyant cuttlefish. If only we could get him changing colours. There's three of them in there. Four of them in there. But they're all relaxed and not trying to change colour. But how beautiful. Fairly decent sized lionfish there. And a baby um, West Australian Jewfish. And I've forgotten what these things are called, but I'll try and find out and um, stick their name and a photo of them up there. Because it's annoying me that I can't remember. Same as the blue devil we've seen getting cleaned in the big tank. It just doesn't come up as cool. The jelly tank. Sometimes they have different color light changes so it goes from blue to pink to purple. I think it's just on blue today though. If it does change colour, I'll flick his back on. Love these chorus rats. So our one inside has a bit more black on it, turns to that. And then later on, there's a pond with a ginormous one, what it turns into. There's also no hippo tang or a blue tang, squirrel fish, anthias, cardinal, butterfly fish. Some 
soft corals. They're definitely zones and how cool is this guy? Yo dude. Yeah, you're cool too, mate. These guys, I just found out, are called old wives. Yeah. To me, they just look like an overgrown cardinal. But this is what underneath the jetties we go to could look like. We call that a roof shark because as you can see, it's just floating in the roof. Hopefully you enjoyed that one, Salty Fam. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. It's been um, a nice trip around Aqua in Hillary's. But until next time, stay salty. You.